dreamed I went riding in my very favorite convertible with my very favorite boyfriend. Well, you can't stop a girl from dreaming. General Motors Motorola. Go on, enjoy yourselves. Look around at the new dream cars built to test new ideas and your reactions to them. The way you look at this LaSalle second will help build tomorrow's cars. Perhaps you dream about a low, sleek car like the Biscayne. The way you look at it can put some of its features on cars of the future. A gown of wide multitone stripes by Sophie of Saks Fifth Avenue seems to go hand in glove with its contoured styling. The flair of a sports car may excite you, so you might go for the Stratostar. And there's room for the family to share the excitement in this six-passenger hardtop. Its fresh appeal inspired this strapless gown of white satin top and a skirt of silvery gray gauze. Maybe you look ahead to a dream car like the Delta, with new things like its brushed aluminum roof and its dual fuel tanks. Driving in the open stirs your imagination. The Wildcat Third is for you. Its bold, clean lines point jauntily to the future. The perfect complement is this white satin striped organza with a garden print of flowers. Eldorado Brougham is completely functional, but presents a wide departure from conventional styling and construction for your approval. In complete harmony is the stem, slim sheath, and matching coat of white silk satin. Compression V8 engines intrigue all the bobs with their promise of increased performance and greater economy. Last year, we looked at you looking at a dream hardtop. You liked it. And here is the production model, a four-door with no center column. And because last year you endorsed it so heartily, all this year's cars have another pioneering achievement, the distinctive panoramic windshield. You approved of the years ahead station wagon styling with narrow slanting pillars and imaginative use of glass that led to the Nomad and the Safari, two of this year's production cars. Your ideas helped fashion the glamorous
all new. It's sure a new kind of Ford. Well, no car for the dough is a car so long. No car for the dough is so rugged and strong. And in Ford, you get a new kind of ride. The frame inside this Ford is new. There's new ball joint suspension, too. They ride you oh so sweet and low. You'll never know there's bums below. Pick you a six or a Thunderbird eight. Come try Ford. Come drive a new kind of Ford. See your Ford dealer. Across the nation this week, folks everywhere are getting their first ride in the beautiful new 1952 DeSoto. Look at those big wide doors and see how roomy this 1952 DeSoto is. Inside, you sit naturally. You relax in seats that are chair high. Yes, the 1952 DeSoto brings you a whole host of wonderful features. Features like Auroflow shock absorbers to help give you one of the smoothest rides you've ever known. Waterproof ignition to give you sure starts even in the dampest weather. To protect your family in case of blowouts. Famous safety rim wheels. The new the 1952 DeSoto. It's designed for you and your budget, too. See the new 1952 DeSoto. They'll know you've arrived when you drive up in the 1958 Edsel, the car that's truly new from nameplate to taillights. New from the front. New from the side. New from the rear. Only Edsel has the sleek, clean line design that sets it apart from the look-alike cars. And it combines new looks with the newest V8 engines in the world, the big new Edsel 400 and the power-packed Edsel 475. It is unlikely you have ever driven a car with so much real, usable power as the Edsel. And with Edsel's exclusive Teletouch Drive, you drive more safely, more easily than you ever have before. Because both hands can stay at the wheel while the Edsel shifts electrically. There's even the added luxury of new Edsel air suspension that's just like riding on air, because you are. And remember, of all the medium-priced cars, car for car, across the board, the 1958 Edsel is the one that's new and the lowest price, too. It's the response to the new 1954 Lincoln at dealers' showrooms all over the nation. People viewing this new 1954 Lincoln are showing unusual interest in this latest version of Lincoln, the one fine car designed for modern living. A big reason for this enthusiasm is Lincoln's fresh new beauty, reflected in this new grill and hood ensemble, emphasizing its lower, wider, functional beauty. Chrome trim is used carefully, and most important, sparingly, just enough to accentuate the long, low silhouette of the car itself. New style notes include a completely new rear bumper, plus an entirely new taillight assembly with backup lights built in. Those who have seen the new 1954 Lincoln for the first time showed a great deal of enthusiasm for the totally new interior patterns designed to reflect modern living as you find it in the modern home. Fabrics range from a silver thread nylon frise through other nylons and broadcloths to the finest grade of leathers in just about any colors one could name. But perhaps the greatest excitement of all was shown by those people who took the new Lincoln out on the road. For this year, Lincoln owners will experience a new driving thrill with Lincoln's improved engine. This overhead valve V8 now incorporates a new type four barrel carburetor that provides still more responsive power when you need it. Other mechanical changes in the new 1954 Lincoln include larger brakes for an even greater degree of safety. Lincoln dealers everywhere are extending a cordial invitation to stop in and drive either the new 1954 Lincoln or the Lincoln Capri. The one fine car designed for modern living 
completely powered for modern driving. You can't blame her for hurrying when you know those Chevy cars. The 1963 Impal Sport Coupe, for example. Notice the new flash, new flare, new fineness. A lovely car. But that's not hers. The 1963 Corvair Monza for excitement. This one isn't hers either. We should have known. A Chevy 2, of course. Exciting as it looks and easier to look after in 63. Bright girl. Wow, a Chevrolet Corvette Stingray Sport Coupe. See Chevrolet's four entirely different kinds of exciting new cars for 63. Come to the Go Show at your Chevrolet dealers now. Say, old Pete's sure in a good mood. Oh, you beautiful dreamboat, you. Hi, Pete. You look mighty pleased with yourself. Well, Bob, I ought to be. I've just made the best deal of my life. Would it have anything to do with this new Olds 88? <laughs> it sure would. Old Pete finally wised up. He finally saw the light. Why, do you know that I've been paying as much for those little so-called low-priced jobs as I paid for this Olds 88? I believe it. This time, I played it smart. I put my dough on Oldsmobile, and just look how much more I got for my money. To start with, the best-looking car on the road. Look at those lines. And this new bumper and grill. Well, there you've got rugged protection and real style. And this rocket engine. Say, I never knew a car could perform like this one. I know I'm telling you all this. You sell Oldsmobiles. Yes, Pete, but uh, it's always nice to hear from a satisfied customer. Well, you've got one here, and the next time you get a chance, you tell a few people what a terrific deal old Pete got from Oldsmobile. I certainly will. Well, there you are. Why don't you stop by your Oldsmobile dealer? Discover how easy it is to drive home in an Oldsmobile 88 of your very own. It's been a spontaneous thing, too, sort of contagious. <laughs> One fellow drives a Mercury home, and pretty soon he has a half a dozen neighbors around, all talking about dream car design. Well, Jack, suppose we take a look at that dream car design. Well, there's a beautiful example right over there. Oh, oh the new convertible cruiser, and it is a real beauty. So that's the model that will do the actual pace car honors next Memorial Day. That's right, Ed. We've chosen the convertible cruiser because it most typifies Mercury's dream car design. It's really a knockout. Well, it has the same straightness of lines, uh, the feeling of bigness and mass without bulk. Mm -hmm. And as you pointed out, Ed, this basic styling found on all Mercury's has captured the imagination of car buyers everywhere. In fact, in order to meet this tremendous buyer demand, we've had to increase our production by 40% for the months of January and February. Actually, right now, we have more people at work building Mercuries than at any time in the history of the Mercury car.